Hey, it's Ben here, and here in Final Cut Pro, we're going to have a look at how we export out the DVC Pro format from Final Cut Pro. So we've got our timeline here, just a video timeline. We are going to jump up to our export options here, and we're going to go to the master file export. Now in here, where you'll find this is in the settings. Now there's a couple of things to change. We're just going to have a look at this export settings for the moment. And basically, we're going to export out or want to export out in a MXF or broadcast format for Final Cut Pro. And then once you're in here, you may see the DVC Pro in this list here. If you don't see it, then there's a couple of things that we need to change. So we're actually working in a 1080p 30 frames per second project here or a project timeline. And so that won't actually export out as DVC Pro. So we're just going to cancel out of here. And what we need to do with this timeline is just select it all. I'm going to do Command and A, copy that. And we're going to need to make a brand new timeline. We can't change the frame rate once the Final Cut Pro 10 timeline is set up. We can actually change the resolution, but just not the frame rate. And that 29.97i interlace is what you'll need for the DVC Pro setup. So we're going to come to a new project. And we need to come to 1080i HD under the video option here. And we are going to change this to 29.97. We want to work in that 30 frames a second with the drop frame frame rate. Um, we're just going to leave this as an untitled project for now. Just a quick test. We'll click OK. We can then do Command V to paste in our layered clips. I'll do Shift and Z. And you can see we've got an unrendered timeline. It's going to render out here. Everything looks pretty good. We do have some clips that aren't trimming at exactly the right frame at the end here. You'll want to watch out for that when you're moving from 30 frames per second to 29.97, depending on your clip setup. So you'll want to play everything back through. I'm just going to select all these quickly, and we're going to just do a quick trim here, so option on the right square bracket to trim all those down so we don't get any weird cuts there. The rest of this all looks pretty good. You'll want to play back through your footage when you actually change the frame rate from a 30 frames a second to 29.97. Make sure there's nothing strange happening with the cuts or with the audio. And then we'll come up to the share button here, come to master file, and then in here we're going to come to settings, go to broadcast, and now, once we're in broadcast here, we'll be able to see that DVC Pro HD format that we can now export out as. So obviously it's interlaced, and the resolution is different for DVC Pro HD. So we're getting a stretched pixel, which is why it's not 1920 by 1080. So not all pixels are exactly the same in terms of their format. Some are more rectangular than others. That's a video tutorial for another day. Anyway, hopefully this will help you get to this option in your video codex if you need to export out DVC Pro HD. A lot of it is to do with your timeline setup, making sure you've got that correct interlaced frame rate when you're actually exporting out your, your videos. So hopefully you found this useful. If you have any other questions, then leave them below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.